My husband Yunus was 42 when he was killed. My sons Mustafa and Meriden were just two out of over 8,000 men and boys who were brutally killed in Srebrenica in 1995. 25 years have passed since their deaths. Memories of what happened. The screams, the shots, and most unbearable of all. The terrified, pleading eyes of my son Mustafa. Will continue to haunt me for the rest of my life. My last sight of Mustafa came as I was being driven from Srebrenica by bus. I saw a cowering group of prisoners by the roadside under armed guards. As the bus passed, a Bosnian Serb soldier shouted out to the woman. Recognize your sons and husbands. This will be the last time you see them. I looked up and saw that one of them was Mustafa. We made eye contact and then he bowed his head. It was the last time I saw him alive. I do not know what happened to Mehruddin. As for my husband, Junus, he was seen with a group of a thousand captured men and boys who were herded into a warehouse and slaughtered. There isn't a day that goes by where I don't think about them. I could tell you about all the horrors that I witnessed there with my own eyes. The horrors that I have had to endure in life haven't stopped. We will never stop fighting for truth and justice. As we women grow older, we feel the weight of responsibility on our shoulders to ensure that our stories and the stories of our loved ones are heard and remembered. That when we are gone, others will continue for, uh, to fight for justice. I ask all of you to help us with this fight in confronting hate and intolerance. As we know more than anyone else. What hatred can lead to if it is allowed to flourish unchecked.